Hey guys, it's Holly, and I'm here with another My Gaming Diary episode, and this is episode 4. And I'm really excited today, I got some cool stuff for you. But I thought I'd start off with what I've been playing. So last weekend I picked up the 3DS, and I mostly have been playing that. I've been playing Steel Diver. Really awesome game, very much enjoying the controls. Um, I really like the Steel Commander mode, and the 3D effect in it is actually awesome. I've also been playing Pilot Wings Resort, which I think has a really, really great 3D effect and the controls are great. Very hard game. Um, to get three stars on any mode is difficult, especially the later missions, and to get a perfect, which is three stars surrounded by red, even harder. Um, really good game though. Wish there was a little more content to both of them. Um, they are both a bit light on content. And now I'll talk about a pickup. Um, as you know from my list of 15, I was going to pick up WWE All-Stars for the PlayStation 3. So two days after the DS came out on Tuesday, I went to the store to do that. And I got all the way to the store, and I thought, really, who am I going to play this game with online? I didn't know anyone else picking it up, and it is a fighter, so you want to have someone to play with on PSN. So instead of getting that, I decided to get another game, which is Super Street Fighter 4 3D. And wow, am I ever glad that I got this. It has the neat uh, 3D case cover. Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. And I have been playing this online with other people, and it's been a lot of fun. This is actually quite a robust game, and has a lot of gameplay. Um, I've been playing with the mini Gashapon figure levels as well, and um, really cool stuff there. I'm really happy that I picked it up. Um, at least I'll have people to play with, which I think is really neat. And that's pretty much what I've been playing. So I also wanted to say thank you to a couple YouTubers that sent me some stuff this month. Now. The Gebs24 sent me Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Master System. She'd been looking for an NTSC game for a while for her Super Nintendo, um, and I found a copy, and I sent it over to her with a pretty big surprise for her room, and she was really awesome and sent me this stuff. So she sent me Sonic 2. As you know, it's really hard to find Master System games over here, so I'm very appreciative of that. Really, really, really awesome game. She also sent along Sonic Pinball for the Game Boy Advance, which was a total surprise. Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy, which is awesome, and also a total surprise. And Banjo-Kazooie for the N64. Now, this is a North America region game, and I have been looking for Banjo-Kazooie for so long. Um, another YouTuber, Pixel Sandwich, told me about this probably about two years ago that I needed to add this to my collection, but it's so expensive over here, so I'm so happy to get this. Um, I've already played through most of it played it the first day I got it. Really awesome stuff. And then she threw in some bonus items. I got this Billy Bullet, which I think is pretty rad. Very cool. Put on my shelves. And this little mini Yoshi. There's the Yoshi in his little boots. So that's really awesome. So I wanted to say thank you for that, Gemma. Really, really, really awesome stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. And then there was another YouTuber that sent me something this month as well, um, Stormcloud Raids. She said she had an extra copy of this game and she knew I was only on 15, so she actually just sent me a copy of Pokemon Black. Um, really, really awesome. I already have Pokemon White, but I didn't get the second one because I have a list of 15 this year, so she threw this in for me. And I'll definitely have to hit her back with something really cool. Um, I know you've moved Storm, so shoot me your new address and uh, I'll get something off to you, but that was awesome. So Pokemon Black. Before we move on to the gaming shout-out, and trust me, I have a really awesome game today in the gaming shout-out. I'm really excited about it. But I wanted to talk a little bit about a new segment I want to add. Um, I've been looking for a way for a while now to do more reviews on my channel, but I never know what reviews for which games you guys really want to see. I want to review most of the games in my collection because most of them I really enjoy. So I came up with this new idea of vote for reviews. Now. Some of the reviews would be okay to do them very quickly, but some of the reviews, for some games, I'd want to take my time with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you guys vote in the comments for which game you want to see a review on, and then I'll post the video review before I post my next Gaming Diary episode. That way I can take my time with it. So I figured to start off, since the 3DS came out recently, I would start off with the original handheld, the original Game Boy. And these are actually four release titles for the Game Boy that I have in my collection. The first one is Tetris. It actually came as a pack-in with the Game Boy. So I can do a review of Tetris. The second one is Baseball. And this is a launch title that I actually had as a kid, as well as Tetris. The third one is Alleyway. 
And you see Mario in the little pod there. And then the fourth one is Super Mario Land. So you guys just tell me in the comments which game you want to see a review for. And you can pick from any one of these games. I'll put them out here. See what they are again. So one of the four games will get a review. Highest vote counts. Alright, so now we're going to do the gaming shout out. And the game I want to talk about this time is Electroplankton. This is actually a very unique title that came out for the Nintendo DS in very limited quantities. It was almost a test marketed game. You can see it here. It has a very shiny cover. And it was created by Toshi Iwai. Here's the back of it. It has the little plankton as each of the soundtracks. And even the casing itself was presented very, very pretty. There's the game. Here's the instruction manual. Now, if you ever do find this game in the wild, the instruction manual is made out of almost like a newsprint. It's not the shiny material you're used to seeing. It is in full color. And it is very, very long. Now, let's see here. Yeah, all of this is in English. I think I actually had to get this from the United States. I don't know if it came out in um, the UK region, but I know it came out in Japan with a headphone set. And you can even download the little electroplanktons individually now on the DSi Shop channel, and they have some new ones. Electroplankton is not exactly a game, it's more a piece of sound software and what it allows you to do is record music and create music using these little plankton creatures. Now one of the things that I really did not enjoy about this game is there's no ability to save. You can perform all these little symphonies with these plankton but you have no ability to save your work and I found that a little bit frustrating. So here's the little plankton here, it tells you about this. Alright, and what these little guys do is the fish will come out and they will hit the leaves. And when they hit the leaves, they make sounds and you can reposition your plant so they hit it at a different rate. Can change all of this stuff. And you can make a little musical symphony, which I think is really neat. And for this one, we're going to do the Mario theme. So with the beatness, it plays the rhythm and then you select a beat and it'll enter it into the rhythm cycle for you automatically. and see what kind of music you can create, and you can create some really great stuff. So that's my gaming shout out for today, that's Electroplankton. It's a pretty rare game to come across, but if you can find a copy, definitely pick it up. It sells for upwards of $50 on eBay, um, depending on how much you like the DS and how much you may like this style of music, you may want to pick it up, or you may just want to download the Electroplankton on the DSiWare. Alright guys, thanks for watching.